Podcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hello, After Buzzers! Welcome to an all new After Show for Shadow Hunters here at After Buzz TV. I'm your host, Sam Davidson. If you guys haven't done so already, please go on iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, rate, review, subscribe. I've said this before and I will say it again you guys are the best fans ever, so please keep it coming. Becca's on the live chat, so yeah. please keep on talking to us. We have a very special guest that we need to oh, wait, excuse me, uh, Hodge. John. 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 Get it he's together, Hodge. Hodge, John. Oh, 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 he was taking a nap. There he is. <laughs> you know, Hodge goes through a lot. He's yeah. tired. It's a so stressful job running the Institute. It very is. Officially, though, John Core here in the studio. How's yeah. Going? Uh, great, great. Got that early. <laughs> yeah. Got there on time. Thank yeah. you so much yes. for being here. We are thrilled to have you. Let everybody know where they can find you on the internet so they can ask you some questions. Uh, well, first of all, thank you very much for having me. Uh, constantly my pleasure. Uh, you can find me on the internet at John Core, John underscore Core. Uh, that's good for Twitter and Instagram. Perfect. Maybe maybe something else. Yeah, I have maybe no something idea. else. Just find it. Yeah. Group, groupons, there. perhaps. Punch it in. Yeah. Oh, just just yeah. Google. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. And now we have a full panel of three of my favorite people, oh. guys. Woo! Introduce yourselves. Let us know where we can find you on Twitter. Yes, my name is Dakota T. Jones. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Mr. Dakota T. Jones. I'm Becca Brown. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Becca B. Talks TV. Hello, guys. I'm Erin Lane. You can find me on my blog at alwayseatyourcake.com, on Instagram at alwayseatyourcake, and on Snapchat and Twitter at love Erin Lane. And you guys can find me, Sam Davidson, at SamD43 on Twitter and Instagram, and AfterBuzz TV at AfterBuzz TV on all social media platforms. Tonight, or today, it's <laughs> night for a lot of people watching, actually. Yes. We're going to be talking about... Thank you about, for watching. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank guys you. are awesome. Season 1, Episode 7. Holy crap. How is it already episode seven? Right, right. Yeah, Major Arcana is what it is called. What did we think, guys? What did we think generally of this episode? This was one of my favorite episodes because, like I've said, every episode leading up to this is like we're finding out more. We're finding out more, and the story's continuing. You know, we have all this information that we learned. Now we can go forward with it. So I think this was a huge episode. I thought also it was a huge episode for Simon. Like I was mm -hmm. so excited yeah. to finally start seeing more of that transition. Yeah. What about you? I was going to bring up this, the whole Simon thing because, I mean, if you've been watching, I'm kind of obsessed with Simon. <laughs> and No shame. No, no shame <laughs> at all. But a transi the transition, if I can talk, is just amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's we've been kind of waiting to hilarious. see this the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Simon starts off a little Breaking small stuff. and meek, and he's kind of in the background. And then we all kind of predicted this vampire thing happening, and now we're starting to really see it oh, come yeah. forth. And he had a, a few of his weird interactions in this episode. <laughs> Karate chopping stuff in half. Yeah, it's a lot oh, of fun. I thought that was great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. I, uh, I Not to give spoilers away, we're going to try our hardest, but I know in the books, in the future, Hodge and Simon do have some kind of interaction, so it'd be fun to see you guys interact on the show. And uh, I know that, you know, you weren't in this episode, but I think this episode was really important for your character, John. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, all of these stories are interwoven. I mean, um, we have such a strong uh, backbone given the literature itself. Um, and then, of course, we have all these phenomenal writers um, interpreting the work and, and helping us bring it to life. Uh, so there's almost no uh, interaction that doesn't in some way um, incur a ripple effect uh, and involve each and every character. And I cannot wait. And we're kind of seeing, so, you know, for everybody that's read the books, Hodge is a much more complicated character than we've seen thus far from you in the show. So it feels like it's getting set up to kind of reveal these layers and peel back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, to be completely honest, uh, I had a four episode deal. So um, I wasn't really sure how it, the character was going to be written, um, mm -hmm. how, whether we'd adhere to the books or not. Um, 
uh, and, and so on and so forth, but I suppose something went right, and uh, there was sort of a, I think, a writing buffer for a couple of episodes. Um, Hodge, of course, is, is confined to the Institute um, at this point. Um, but, yeah, there is quite quite a setup. There's a lot coming your way, and uh, you can count on seeing a lot of Hodge. Uh, Which I think the fans are going to be very he's happy He's mortally about. instrumental. He's, yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. See what you did there. Well, well, wow. I can't wait to have kids. Tell my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I actually, whenever we first did our, like, well, the first time I did the after show with them, it was the episode where, you know, we first see your character. And I was very confused because I was like, you know, I thought, okay, well, this is a guy that we're going to meet for this episode, and then mm -hmm. he might not, you know, stick around very long. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it was kind of a quick little scene in the Institute. Yeah, lots of exposition there. Yeah, and then yeah. after you did the other scene with Alex's character, where you're kind of talking to him about, you know, not wanting to feel less than Jace, I was like, okay, I think he's going to be sticking around for a while. And I'm so glad, because I love that character. I love your character. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, yeah. I do too. And even in, so, you know, I went through all the books. Well, I went through five mm -hmm. of them. And Hodge... I always like the kind of ambiguous bad guy, but maybe yeah. has a good moral compass going on characters. Like we've talked before about how much I love Snape. Or yes. Yeah. But I, you know, I really am excited that your character's staying in the show. For me, it really adds something to that because everybody else, you know, we're seeing their character development, but Hodge is so multidimensional, at least mm -hmm. in the books. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's gonna add a lot to the story arc well, here. The first time Absolutely. we the first time we saw him he seemed that way, which is I mean, the reason I liked him at first. Yeah. Yeah. How That's did you funny. feel about? So in the books, Hodge is a little, um, a little older, a, you know, a little, a little more cantankerous. But how did you feel about when you came on the show? A, um, a hashtag came out called Hot Hodge, uh, which is, is all is that, down the chat right now. What does now? it feel like to become Hot Hodge? Uh, to be honest, I, I tend to distance myself from that sort of thing. Um, I thought it was very kind uh you know it was a warm welcome to the shadow universe and the shadow fandom um and so i felt very very blessed very very grateful um but it was also sort of based on an ancient headshot it had nothing to do with my personality my level of integrity or lack thereof my yeah. work or lack thereof you know so um whether the response was uh predominantly positive or harrowingly negative <laughs> it's not real yeah you know yeah. I, I like to let the work speak for itself yeah um yeah. so that. in in the end of the season that's when you can tell me what you think right you know what i, I mean? like that once all of these arcs um cross collide. Yeah. yeah collide there's a yeah fantastic <laughs> exactly yeah um everybody's got so much going on in the show yeah uh, it's, oh yeah it's almost difficult to talk even five minutes ahead without yeah there's some very complicated storylines in here yeah yeah well let's get into those storylines and i can't wait to hear kind of what you as an actor and as the character hodge have to say about it we start where we left off where clary's like oh I know where the cup is. Yeah. Yeah. More like it's about damn time. Do you, I know. Clary? This is yeah. one of those things. Like, the, you know, we've known. I love when they use this mechanism in writing that we know what's going on and the characters don't. And we've known where it is the whole oh, damn yeah. time. Yeah. And we're like, come on, Clary, figure it anyone out. Anyone who's come seen on. the movie right. or anyone who knows the storyline knows where it's at. Right. See, well, so that's this is sort of a, this is an interesting pitfall. Uh -huh. Do you stay according to the books? Or do you surprise folks? See, this you know? is where exactly. I and cater to, to new surprise. fans as well as old fans. Well, I think yeah. they've gone mostly with the latter here because there's a lot of curveballs coming through mm -hmm. here that is not in the books. Yeah, but they I did like. allude to this cup thing in the first couple episodes. They showed the card. You know, they kind of put it out there for us. They're yes. Like, Come on, guys, pick it up. And then yeah. it's gone. Well, that's why I thought from the beginning Luke knew he had the cup. That's really what I thought. I still think he did. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he's... Yeah. I think we've established now that Luke is a good guy. Hodge, we still don't know, but... Sketch. <laughs> shady, as people are saying. Yeah, people shady. are saying. Shady Hodge. Shady, shady. And edgy yeah. Hodge. I'm shady. Hodge is hot. <laughs> so they always, they always get it backwards. There you <laughs> go. There you go. Well, it's, it's a lot of fun to see these characters, and I love that now we kind of trust Luke, but we don't mm -hmm. trust other people, which is always fun to see. We have, we talked about Simon a little bit at the beginning, and we have this scene with him and Maureen after they had had sex. Fantastic scene. Whoa. Well, that was, okay, so. He started going. How strong is she, by the way? She is. Oh, she's so, I'm so, so glad she's on the show. Great. So happy that she came back, yeah. too, because at first I thought, I mean, we even, I took her off the octagon because yeah. I thought she was like a one-off and done. Said, yeah. IMDb gets 
things are. She yeah. Oh, yeah. is a fantastic actress, and she really, oh, brilliant. in the books, I really don't like her character. Mm. She's kind of naggy and obnoxious, and in the show, she's fantastic. I love her. I think it just makes sense for them to be together, and I, mean, I get the whole, you know, Clary Simon thing, but I just, I, I'm like rooting for Maureen to like, to end up with him. Did he just like I mean, black out in a vampire thing and sleep with her and not know? Because he seemed a little confused. Confused in the morning. You, by the way, I was gonna ask you. He's just having hallucinations. Do you, the last episode, you know, Simon's leaving and he's like, and Jason's like, you know, what are you doing? And he and he like lays the twenty dollar bill on the couch. What was your interpretation of that? What was that all about? Was that like, here's some money, don't tell anyone where I'm going? Or I'm what still was confused that? about that. I actually don't know what that was either. Yeah. Did, how did I miss this? I did don't you remember miss it? this yeah. moment. I, it's I'm a really so weird confused. moment weird. that none That's of us know what it is. very intrinsic. I, I'd have to see it. I don't know how yeah. I missed like, it. He's like, I'm just going to pay you. For he's like, care where of are you going? He's like, just tell Clary I'm going to, I have to take care of something. And he's like, no. Yeah. And then he takes out a $20 bill, lays it on the couch, and then just leaves. And I'm like, maybe, what is that? Maybe that's sort of a... An offer, a mundane offering. It just doesn't you know seem I mean? like yeah. Here's some very Earth effective. money. Yeah, <laughs> mundane. <laughs> go see a movie. Don't bother me. Yeah. Yeah. the adults have yeah. some, some work to do. Yeah, here's twenty dollars. I'm gonna go have sex with Maureen yeah. type of thing. But he I, doesn't I, need it. He's got Sarah bucks. Yeah, yeah. Sarah bucks. I love that. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. It was a very fun scene because you know, in they teased us last week with it seemed like Simon and Clary were in bed together. But we all knew, yeah. You know, we were like, oh, yeah, but that going didn't, insane. Didn't happen, and it's just funny because Simon in this scene, like we said, he's very confused, and Maureen has been waiting for this moment for so long. Yeah. Poor Maureen. And these kids are young. In the books, they're even younger. They're way too young for this. In the books, it's weird. Yeah, so they're it's fifteen like, in the books. In the show, it makes sense. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are asking, you know, who's a virgin? Are they still a virgin? And it's. A weird question, but then you think about it, these are kids that yeah. really have read the books and are watching the show, yeah. and they know these characters as younger. Yeah. So, and we actually hear, like, um, I think it was uh, it was Magnus who said in the last episode something about, I need, like, virgin power. So we know Alex. Alex. Is, so yeah. we know Alex a virgin. I mean, that was kind of given, but like yeah. that's the first time that's ever been mentioned on the show. Magnus like, is oh, several yeah. hundred years old. I'm going to guess that he's been around the block a few times. Yeah. A no, 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 this is a spell. It erases everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. go there back. You no re- evidence psychologically revert. or physically. <laughs> it's that's incredible. Right. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Excellent <laughs> spell. Well, you know, we're on, we have the squad. We call it the Shadow, Shadow Squad. squad. Yes. And Luke is on the team, and they figure out, you know, Luke says, okay, the cup is in the tarot cards. That is at the police station Mm -hmm. where I work. So they all go to the police station to find the cards, but Luke is now pinned for a murder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, what, it's the the alpha? Is that? Yes. Yes. They just get a little hairy. Yeah, they do. (laughs) Oh, I'm so funny. That was a good one. Right. I thought into... about it the whole time you were talking, and I waited for a moment. Waited for the right moment. Yeah, you're turning into John Cor. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It. It's rubbing off on me. <laughs> and that so is... So many dad jokes. That's a compliment, honestly. It's, it's a very good yeah. compliment. Yes. So, I'll rub off on everybody. Hilarious, guys. Oh, absolutely hilarious. <laughs> See, oh, God, this is so exciting. I'm so happy that you came today. This is oh, super I'm having awesome. Ball. Good. 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 For those who are watching, we've been having fun for... I'd say an hour. Yeah. yeah. Before yes. the show. Before yeah. the show. We made him take his shirt off and dance around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's that so happens. kind of you to uh, say on live television that yeah. I didn't offer. <laughs> <laughs> or run in. Speaking going, of, speaking of, we have take it the all picture. Take we have the picture. Oh. I don't know if we have it up right now, but... Um, yeah, we forgot. Sorry. Did a, I don't know. I mean, I sent it in. Did the, the picture you posted today, did a fan make oh, that and you reposted up. it? No, uh, we have a personal trainer on the show. Oh, okay. Who, uh, every once in a while, we'll, we kind of submit progress reports, uh-huh. if you will. He kinda, that makes so much He works sense. with us long distance. So uh, I, I don't know if it was his idea or if the network was involved, but they, he started posting some pics with some text and that sort of thing. And um, the fans have since taken to him. And so they kind of get an inside look, um, or well, behind the scenes look in terms of the training, the fitness level, uh, that was almost inordinate at one point. I remember Matt and I looking at each other and he was like, how, how, how do we, <laughs> I don't know my name anymore. <laughs> I need a carbohydrate. <laughs> this is a really yeah, physical I, show. I mean, we've talked about is, this yeah. with a couple of the other, with Dom and everything that, I mean, you guys are in full training it's mode insane. pretty much the whole yeah. time, right? Yeah. But you have a background in it, right? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I've, um, I've studied, uh, lots of martial arts throughout my life. Um, I have a gymnastics background. I used to um, oh. coach pre-competitive up in Timmins, Ontario. Oh, awesome. Oh, um, really? Where I spent a lot of my youth. 
uh, I never competed myself or anything like that. Because um, you would win. It's yeah, not yeah. Fair. yeah, it's not no. fair to everyone else. Right. <laughs> so yeah, is Hodge ever going to get a chance to do some stunts? Are you going you to get to do no any of your idea. own stunts? Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, oh, very exciting. I'm very excited. There's a lot of action coming up. Good. I'll tell you that. That's a good. really good point. And we're very point. proud of it. We worked really hard on it. Uh, well, I think it's really cool that you guys do a lot of your own stunts. I mean, yeah, yeah. you guys are getting, getting right I in like, there. Nice. It's been a dream yeah. of mine. Uh, I, I was that kid who, you know, spent his first few paychecks for months on uh, Jackie Chan VHS's. Yes. That's so cool. Yeah. So All of it. All of it. That's <laughs> awesome. Wow. Yeah. By the way, the uh, 20 bucks thing, uh, we have Simon said 20 bucks, Alec abandons James. Oh, it's a bet. Aye. It a bet. So oh. that's been explained now. There thank we go. You. Okay. Fans. See, I did so not even informed. get that. I'm so glad so that thank they, you. they pointed that yeah. out. To the fans on the chat. Piper Charms. Thank you, Piper yeah, Charms. You guys are, are awesome. And Everyone else. Any question we have, they can always answer it. Speaking of Alec, that. you know, we get more of the Lightwood family dynamic. Yes. Izzy's Welcome. changing in a way that I don't think a lot of, like, we all, I feel bad watching Izzy's transformation mm -hmm. into what she thinks that she needs to be mm -hmm. and is supposed to be. Yeah. And this episode, she kind of takes on uh, Alec's responsibility because their dad goes to find him to do stuff for the clave, to do a like a demon report basically and you know he's at Magnus's it's not there as he says she'll take care of it and you know their dad seems as though he's a lot more open yeah I totally agree than their mother Maris is mm -hmm. definitely putting a lot of pressure on the kids to kind of step yeah. into this role and you know that's not who Izzy is in a certain extent so you know I think that she's trying to like you said become what she thinks she's supposed to be instead of just being herself yeah She's so sad. I feel rough. like a lot of people get pressured into like you know doing what they think their parents want, and I'm so lucky because mm -hmm. my parents or have always people. been 110 percent behind me. So it's just so sad to see that you know that these things happen. That it's and like, affecting his yeah. She people almost seems to... like his mediator sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, um, it, it seems like she might be one of the few people he's completely honest with, mm -hmm. and, and not simply in terms of his sexuality. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just very cool to see these shifts when she takes on this maternal persona. And looks out for her baby brother, if you will, even though you can clearly see yeah. himself. Yeah. It's very cool to see. Yeah. yeah. And she sees I love his character, you know? So much. Yeah. And, you know, he is much, he's obviously, you know, very repressed in a lot of ways. And he is very honest with her. And, you know, she can take it too. You know, he's going to lash back at her when she's pressing him. But I think she has his best interest at heart for sure. She yeah. Finds, she finds his, uh, bitchiness for lack of a better word. <laughs> occasional bitchiness it's a little endearing I think yeah. sometimes yeah. <laughs> she sees through it you know what I mean like, she does yeah. well a question I wanted to ask you John is a sure. few episodes ago we saw Alec and you know your character Hodge have an interaction mm -hmm. and I it, it was very short but I was like hmm that is an interesting character dynamic between those two obviously Hodge has kind of taken care of these kids right. in a way and has seen them grow yeah, he would have, in my mind, uh, to touch on this age thing again, that was very interesting. I remember um, Cassandra had posted something about the audition and, and more or less defended it, for lack of a better word, which I thought was very cool. It didn't seem necessary, but, it, you know, wow, we're taken care of, you know? Um, according to the books, Hodge would have been, don't quote me on these numbers, but in my mind, a lot like the 13-year-old babysitting the 8-year-olds. Mm -hmm. There's not an immense difference, but at that age, that difference is huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, he would have been right. graduating high school. They were in grade 8 or something like that. Yep. You know what I mean? So he he loves these kids as his own, mm -hmm. I, I believe wholeheartedly. But as they've aged, they've become peers. Yeah. So that's not to say the relationship is more complex, but it's definitely not... Alfred and his little brood. Right. And the know? dynamic is and obviously It never was fluid supposed there. to be, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Hodge was described in the novels as looking older right. due mm -hmm. to his grief. Right. He's um, been through a and lot. And prolonged imprisonment uh, and, and so on and so forth. So he's kind of a young veteran. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. At least that's how I think of him. And I think how he was originally written. Um, and yes, we, you know, we had all those discussions about, you know, I'd love to dye my hair. Um, I, I, I love to, I was playing him British originally. Uh -oh. um, there were a number of things that, um, you know, we, we sort of uh, saw eye to eye on and also didn't, um, but in, in a good way, in a pro proactive way, because it's such a collaborative medium. Like at the end of the day, it almost doesn't matter how good or bad you are. 
because you have editing, writing, mm -hmm. directing. Uh, uh, did you eat well today? Did you get your sleep, little buddy? You know, there, there's so much that goes into all of this. Um, it, it's never just the actor or just the studio making each and every decision. It's a full um, team. And I personally am, even, even though I might have had a few doubts along the way, I think I, I, I went, wow, they, they knew exactly what they were doing. You know, Ed Dector, high five, I get it. You know, I've seen the light. Thank you so much. I think it's really cool. The light. The light, yes. Yeah. I, yeah, I think the character. <laughs> yeah. 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 There you go. There yeah, you go. Sure. puns today. Yeah. Puns, yeah. Guys. I love puns. I think people originally, you know, everybody has with any book this idea of what a character is supposed Precisely. to be. That's yeah. what's really difficult. That's what's precious yeah. about it. It's what's special about it. You yeah. know, you create this image in your head, and it's that is what that character is to you. So mm -hmm. it's always tricky to bring that from print, you know, absolutely, you know, into film or into television. But it's I think that the way that you guys have taken this character of Hodge, people really resonate with it because you put every a lot I mean, of thought into it. <laughs> it's it, and it is. It's a very nuanced character and. Mm. You know, I think that it's the fans obviously are really on board with it. Oh, I'm, I'm so lucky. Board. So lucky. Yeah. We, good fans for Shadowhunters. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they've been so kind. I mean, insanely dedicated fans. I will actually at times defer to the fans for information, or at least we'll have a dialogue. Um, not, not, I mean, not unlike the $20 incident. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are things that ultimately you miss when you're so, when your attention is on yourself and your character right. in terms of the homework. Of course, it's not like that in scene. Um, but yeah, you you know you'll inevitably miss things because you're busy getting Hodge's shoes right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to see like all the stuff we have coming in the future for oh, you because I. I think it's I, I, not to give any spoilers. I'm not going to, but your character you is going yeah. to be very important. Well, that's what's so hard oh. is you know we think that we do because we're like we oh we read we the know. books we know what's going on, but everything is so different. It's taking oh. such a departure, which is yeah. great. <laughs> and you guys are making it worse because I hate surprises and I want to know so bad what's going to happen. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the worst. Oh. I love surprises. I yeah. Google everything. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I want to know what's going to happen and then I enjoy it more because I can analyze it. I don't know. Well, it's very weird. Yang, yang to my yin. It's a very strange <laughs> thing. A couple people on the chat want you to do a British accent. Uh, of what sort? <laughs> of what sort? Ask them. Like, what what, the, what region? Where where is he from? Oh uh, boy, like I'm not gonna know original. them all. <laughs> See, just like that, a, you just pick you one. Did. Just pick anyone. Um, Cockney. Cockney. And then do Queen's English. Let's Cockney. just go through all of them. Best teeth Let's in old England there is, Gab. Oh, I love that. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, but in terms of British, uh, I usually like to warm up. Um, but it's not very difficult. You sound like Dom right now. Yeah, yeah do I? Good. <laughs> yeah. My mouth is so dry. <laughs> Amazing. Well, let's get back into Simon a little bit because so we have the Maureen scene and then we see him just freaking out. Oh. Fantastic performance. Oh my God, mm -hmm. so good. And just to know how kind of like raw he is as an actor and this is really one of the first things. Just hasn't had, the, he, he came right out of school. Yeah, he's not polluted. He hasn't That's had to great. appeal to the system. He is definitely you know, one of my he hasn't favorite had people. to compromise his art. His art is it artistry mm -hmm. to to sort of pay his dues. Not yet, right? So he's very. I don't think he'll have to. <laughs> I think I think he's um, he's earned it, uh, but I think he's also been very fortunate. And and given that he's killing it, mm -hmm. you know, from a raw, natural, and refined technique place, is just phenomenal. You know, he brings um, a lot of uh, comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he brings comedy to despair, brings, despair yeah, to comedy. Everything. I yeah. love it. It makes me wonder how many other very talented actors would be able to bring something like that if they weren't having to jump through the hoops of rejection and auditions yeah. and, you know, being PC all the time. He's absolutely wonderful. He's brilliant. Well, as a human being, he's got such an inner life as well. So much depth that, I mean... You can always see that come out through oh, a yeah. too. Yeah, oh yeah. And, I mean, we're going to see him turn around and play somebody completely different than Simon. Oh. Um, I, I believe. I think he's, he's going to be doing some fantastic characters in the near future. I'm excited, I but I'm scared. Too. I know, it's like everything that we knew from Simon in the first, like, few episodes is totally movie. taking, yeah. like, a total turn here. And it's just crazy to see him as he's, you know, going on and he's, like, being more aggressive and... You know, to seeing him like destroy his room, I was just mm -hmm. like, "Who well, is this guy?" He's transitioned the most out of like any character, but any literally transitioned. Literally transitioned. The yeah. scene the with most. Simon and his mom and his sister is great. It's so yeah, good. It's super funny. And I almost Did I mention Holly yet because so, she's incredible too. She was Worked great. She was very funny. So yeah, I thought she was so solid. Very funny. I liked yeah. her a lot. Yes. I liked that scene. Kind of, 
you almost thought he was going to get away with it for a while, just being like, I just don't feel good, it's fine. Yeah. And then he just can't, it's just the voices are just getting louder and louder and he just can't deal. But what do you think that they actually thought was going on with him? I mean, they're not going to think he's a vampire. Right. And what kind of drug would make I, you break your desk in half? Yeah, and like, <laughs> I mean, I don't think, I don't think. Full well, testosterone. Well, we'll play, we'll play, we'll the hot thing. Like, rip, 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 rip door off the engine is like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. And I Good don't job think, working out. No. I don't think that's a side effect from the STDs that the mom's trying to oh, that's pin a, on him. <laughs> maybe, maybe that, that would be a weird maybe side effect. Bodybuilders are like, oh, yeah, chlamydia. <laughs> 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 Boom. Steroids, maybe? Yeah, steroids? Yeah. Yeah, I feel I like, know. I feel like as a, like a mundane myself, if I saw someone like, <laughs> <laughs> like if oh, I saw code. somebody. I'm glad we can get the mundane perspective. Yeah. That's why we have you on this panel. Thanks, yeah, guys. yeah. Well, we're we're actually like, yeah. yeah. But personally, I feel like if if I was in that situation, okay. I would definitely think, oh, it's steroids, like 110. That's a good guess. Yeah. I what really do, you bet, so? do steroids help you karate chop your dust? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they also really? do um, things. It was more of a Hulk smash, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was like. like Boom. Yeah, it's yeah. Like a... It was very Hulk Hulk esque. Yeah. yeah. And, and I just brace his mirror. <laughs> oh, it was great. And I'm glad that we got to meet his family because yeah. they're almost just as awesome as he mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Like we said, you know, the actors playing the mom and the sister and just the interaction. You can kind of see why Simon is so awesome. Yeah. Well, why talk about, uh, you know, his, his home life as something that is really stable and great or something that isn't when we have a whole season now? You know, mm -hmm. we don't just have an hour. We have a season. We can flesh this stuff out. We can go home with Simon and actually experience it yeah. rather than hear about it through exposition. It, which I'm really glad we're seeing in some life. Mm -hmm. I think this it show is so... I mean, the books were so perfect for this kind of a format. Yeah. You know, it, there's so much information and so much nuance and so much character development that in, there's you know... You just too. don't so have enough... Yeah. They're yeah. totally... And there's, you have to, you know, do all this world building here. Exactly, and you yeah. just can't do that in an hour, 90 minutes, two hours. I just... I love being able to go through... You know these intricate parts of each of the characters week lives. after week yeah, yeah. and what's Forever. really <laughs> what's fun is that we're introduced to this world kind of as like simon is we don't yeah. know what's going on it's new yeah. he's transitioning and i'm like i feel like we're transitioning right. yeah right, yeah. right. Very i'm relatable. like in the mirror looking for my things i'm like well, <laughs> well, yeah i mean i have yeah it's happening yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Actually, when I was a kid, people used to ask me like if I was a vampire because yes. these two teeth were like so far up, and they would like hang. Oh, you did up. you have pointy little tooth? cat tooth? No, and, look like, how pointy his cat teeth are. Vampire. Like, they, yes. they were, Seriously, like, look they at were, those like, things. Really far up, and like they because I I look like a barracuda before this. <laughs> <laughs> I had so many braces you and your head. everything. But Pictures. like people, like I used to like be so sad because people would come up to me and like. Like, I'd be like, hi, you want to be my friend? And they'd be like, you're a vampire. I no. think that's kind of badass, Dakota. I, I, I would have been like, Next week, we'll be showing yeah. pictures from Dakota's <laughs> childhood. Yeah, you want to be my friend? I yeah. certainly yeah. hope so. That yeah, would right be. There, pull right yeah, yeah. <laughs> just right do there. it. Do so it. I need a good old smacker. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into uh, the Jace and Clary of it all a little bit. We'll talk about hot. the big, uh, yeah, <laughs> super hot. I mean, hot. they are just, every scene, it's like, hot okay. Is an understatement. When are you, when are you going to do it? When are you going to kiss? When, when is this, like, when is this going to <laughs> actually happen? But that they, caught me off guard. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, no. it. well, no, I have been waiting. I yeah. predicted episode five, so. Well, the, oh. pro, the promo I mean, we saw last week had me like, okay, maybe it won't happen because we, we saw, saw the stabbing thing. Yeah, I, so, which I was like, what? Let's talk about that. We got introduced to a, a new demon, mm -hmm. uh, the Shax. Cheese demons. Yeah, right? Shax demon, I believe. Shax demon, which was really interesting and cool. Beautiful blue eyes, those demons. Do you see that? I've <laughs> <laughs> never so seen funny. a blue eyed demon. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, Don't wow. trust people. Do any of you have blue eyes? Nope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you're green, I promise. Yours are, yeah, yours are like a bluish, nope. greenish, like, little they're, they're flex green, of, but yeah. Just, you know. Yeah, it's just like your character, you know? It's a little bit, you know, trust him, but don't. Neither here nor there. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I don't, he's the hero of the story, I don't know. Yeah, you never know. hey, they're or, changing a lot, and they still could be changing more. I really liked the scene, though, with Jason Clary in the elevator. I thought that was a lot of fun, when she got her new ruin to basically have, like, yes. night vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so cool. That was cool. I, I like that vision. a lot. I wanted, I wanted to see more of that. One too. Well, they, they did another one, too. The, the, uh, the, 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 the reading badges. <laughs> The, oh, yeah. Yeah. the reading I of see, badges. I see you. You don't, maybe it's like, yeah, out. Yeah. There, yeah. that's better. 
Uh, what, why can't I? Where I used to be articulate. <laughs> you know what I'm Same. To He's a writer, guys. He, yeah. He articulates on the paper. On the paper. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god, I just can't stop. Um, okay, <laughs> that's right. Right. I know it takes you guys a minute to get takes my puns. Me a little no, that bit. pun was so but good. Until we were on the like, air, no, I was uh, owning yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, yeah, so you were really good. me right. now that I'm put on the spot. The, <laughs> the compass. The compass joke is my favorite. Right. Yeah, that was really good. That was a good one. Like a Fantastic. So in the police station, we have Jason Clary going around trying to get these cards, and Izzy and Alec are basically waiting outside helping them. They all end up going underground, and they end up leaving. They don't leave Clary, but, you know, it's for her protection right. to mm -hmm. run, because I guess they don't trust that she can really handle these demons. And yeah. I, I, I'm which guessing... I, yeah. Which they probably, seem to believe in her. Pretty wholeheartedly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. I feel like Chase believes in her in a way that doesn't actually make any sense because she doesn't know what she's doing. She's trying, right. but she doesn't know what yeah, she's she, doing. I think the idea is that, you know, we all, as human beings, mundanes, or Nephilim, uh, uh, we're often intellectual about things, but there's an intuitive nature mm -hmm. to our species um, that doesn't have a voice that operates by a language, right? And I think maybe her intuitive core her soul, if you will, um, her heart, her gut, whatever you want to call it, that thing that you follow um, and that you trust implicitly uh, might might be her, you, what he sees. Mm -hmm. What What is Shadowhunter about her? Um, yeah, totally. That absolutely makes sense. And that's kind of how her character develops in the book as well. You, mean, you yeah. find out that she has a little more to her than you think she does. Right. And, and she then she thinks she does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, she, uh, in the beginning when she probably didn't believe in herself to that extent, she had something to prove. Right. But we see now as she's more confidently in control of her own situation and making decisions herself. Uh, um, where was I going with this? <laughs> well, she's tapping into her, her, her power. Yeah. 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 And by tap, and I, I mean he's, tapping, he's literally. This. He yeah. sees the growth, which might... Yeah, her it, confidence. It might seem uh, slow to us, but to him, it's probably really progressive. Yeah. Because she was a mundane 20 minutes ago, and now she's yeah. shadow hunting? Yeah. yeah. You know, this is unheard of. It yeah. is. It, it, yeah. I, I like her, seeing her confidence build up in every episode. I do, too. And I like... A little, a little more every episode. Sometimes I'm, I'm like, you don't know everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dial you back. Have, you have to slow it down. That's real life, isn't it? Yeah. Because these people, these other shadow hunters have been in the world longer than you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's let part them of them take the wheel at some point. Totally, and that's part of what I liked about that scene in the elevator when she does put the rune on. Is that she? She's like, oh yeah, I can do it myself, and yeah. she starts to do yeah. it herself. And then she does need help, and she yeah. asks for help, and then they have another, you know, I got sensual embrace sexy. kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a sexy spot to put a tattoo, isn't it? it yeah. I mean, that was a she, weird. She had a bare left arm, and she was right? like, Jace. Hey, it was. A, yeah. I mean, that was a calculated choice for sure, because she sat there and looked at it, and she was like. Here, this is, hey, Jace. This one, this one's good. I'm just <laughs> waiting for her to lift off her shirt and be like, Jace, want to put it here? Oh, like, are these, oh my god. I'm these sorry. are like, I'm really, that here and here. She's that close. I, 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 she's I think, that close. I think the network might have to change their, the name again. Yeah. yeah. That's happened, though. Hey, yeah. it says free in the title. But, 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 Shadow the Death Blue. Yeah. Aaron's like, I was thinking the same thing, honestly. <laughs> I'm just, like running for it. All these youngins over here are like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's an HBO show for sure. Right. Uh, yeah, that, that's a different <laughs> network. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun to see them, you know, keep on playing, keep on growing. What I loved, like I said, was when Clary's being chased by the demon, the Shax demon, yeah. and she has the card in her hand. They, you know, were able to get it. Mm -hmm. And she was trying to get the cup from it before, but this time when she's under pressure, when she's like, oh, crap. When she's in need of it, mm -hmm. it... She's able to. I, what, I don't even know what the word would she be. Just like reaches in and just like. Yeah. Ugh. Does that power have a name? I don't know, but dude, I Does want. Does the fans know? Fans. I just I need a replica of that cup. Cup, cup culling. She yeah. Culled cup. the cup. Yes. Yeah. It's just <laughs> drawing it out. I don't Magic. know. Magic. Oh, I see what you did there too. You're full of drawing. drawing. It out. Oh, you know? I didn't even realize I just did that. I saw now it's that was so like unstoppable. Yeah. You're unstoppable. I <laughs> I really am. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> so she gets the cup, and Jace goes back to the Institute, and, you know, they think they lost Clary. Mm -hmm. And he's like, shut everything down now. <laughs> yeah. We need to find her. I wish we would have seen Hodge in this scene be like, what the hell, dude? Where are the lights? 
Right? <laughs> yeah. I was halfway through an email. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are you doing? This is so stupid. And, and I, I do think in the future we will get to see kind of Hodge's reaction yeah. towards Jace's, like, I don't know what you would call it, irresponsibility or recklessness. Irrational as as, decisions, uh, just like on the spot like that. Well, yeah. See, here's the thing. Hodge, to me, and this is the reason I don't believe he's a hero or a villain. I think he's very human. I think his morality is uh, also very human and very deep and not unlike our own, very contextual, right? Uh, and I think that what might appear irresponsible to the clave, which is, for lack of a better comparison, even though it's Nephilim-based, man-made, mm -hmm. it is therefore susceptible to corruption, not unlike any other organization. Um, and I think that's the sort of thing that Hodge refuses he can't not acknowledge that to himself and i think that's something he shares with these kids you know when he walks in on alec and says uh, don't worry about him buddy i don't want to report you mm -hmm. what do you want yeah. to don't tell now, me he has his own relationship with these people mm -hmm. you know he's kind of like the cool teacher who <laughs> yes says, don't let the principal totally. see you yeah. No, I like I like that. I the like cool that teacher, lot. yes. And Hodge doesn't necessarily, at least in you know in print, he doesn't have the best relationship with the clave. Not at all. Yeah, um, terrible not being able to go that. outside's a rough gig. So that is yeah. pretty rough. Well, uh, and he's watching so many of the people involved who committed the same crimes through their own naivety, not unlike him, uh, uh, and perhaps even more numerous or or uh, more evil in nature crimes mm -hmm. uh, walk free yeah. uh, and and even garner promotions in the clave if you will you know they, they had the lightwoods for example have these these political ties um, back in Idris Hodge doesn't have that he doesn't come from the same family that most of the people in the circle come from um, for him it, it, he got involved as a young man as an as an impassioned uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for impressionable young man mm -hmm. he really believed in the principle of the exercise but once he got involved you know and, and things progressed further down the line he realized that oh this is not what I thought it was this is not a good thing it's essentially a genocide this is almost a race like a hate crime and uh, whoops <laughs> um, and he was kind of the easiest to make an example out of I think mm -hmm. it's sucks. almost like he didn't have enough money to throw the problem yeah, yeah. you definitely got the short speaking. end of the stick that's yeah. for sure uh, and I think you can only operate gracefully for so long until the punishment sort of does not fit the mm -hmm. crime or is so very exclusive that it's difficult to shoulder the burden on your own any longer uh, and so Hodge I think in terms of his morality again realizes that nobody's really on his side mm. he does not want anything bad to happen to these kids nothing he loves them intrinsically I believe that um, however again not unlike real life if you want something done right you do it yourself or, or, or if you yeah. want you know no God the universe your mother your best friend nobody's going to ultimately fill your holes or take care of you if you don't do that first if you don't step up so these these things in the books that people refer to as evil or bad or villainous, I feel are very justified and actually very interesting. He does a lot of these things with great reluctance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and and he's very dichromatic, he, he's um, dual-minded in that, again, he's protecting and believing in something very good, but God damn it, freedom, you know? He hasn't been yeah. free in so long. So what's he gonna do about it? That's part of what I've said Tune this before that I love about this show is it's a fun show, you know, it's action, it's sexy, it's really fun, but it also is really smart writing. We deal with a lot of like oh. social commentary and human elements here and it's one of my favorite parts about it. I feel like it's getting better and better. Really, it is. Oh yeah. it is, yeah. You can, it, well Let's, uh, we have seven minutes left. They keep on telling us. Time for the fancy life. Lucky well, seven. Two things that we are going to get crapped on if we don't talk about for sure is the kiss. We got the kiss yes. that we have been waiting Which for. And, Duh. you know, I loved the reaction. Like I said, I wish we could have seen Hodge's reaction to the kiss. It was inappropriate. Well, I was throwing kind of. up because Dom, <laughs> Dom, nobody was around and Dom was like, dude, I got to practice. <laughs> and I was like, okay, let's go right. get a trailer. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Take I, one for I the did, team. I did, and and so uh, I was just very. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I just I don't know. I like Dom, but 
It's a little I was too worried much. about how Sarah would feel. I got really yeah. anxious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. I mean, it meant nothing to me. You got worked. put in a tough situation. Yeah, I did again. <laughs> well, you know, from here on, we're gonna definitely see Jace and Clary's characters kind of be. It, they're public now. They're basically they've gone public. <laughs> Facebook status. Yeah. Facebook, Facebook status. Facebook, Facebook they're official. Fish. They're fish. We also end with Simon going back to the Vampire Hotel mm -hmm. and yes. oh, Hotel de Moore. Yeah, Hotel so. de Moore. Creepy. Exactly, and Camille basically so says, creepy. Uh, "Yeah, it was creepy." Says you are still a human, and then seem kills him. And we talked about this briefly, Aaron. You know, we're big vampire fans, and in all different books, TVs, movies, you transition in different ways. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you drink the blood, you get killed, and then you wake up, which seems what is going to mm -hmm. happen. Yeah. So, I don't know. On that note, let's get into some predictions and fan questions. Yes. So, we get the fancy lights. And now, you are to ask me if TV. I had, you know, epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a risk. So true. <laughs> That's a great point. Yes. We're very, <laughs> I have very adventurous here. He just, like, starts freaking out. Yeah. Some. He's right. a washroom right. now. I don't know. What was that? <laughs> We'll start with you, Dakota, and any predictions and fan questions. Okay, about? sure. First, wrong. Uh, okay. <laughs> my one First fan. Wrong. My one prediction is that I believe that the JC thing will come back. I feel like the brother's not dead, but I don't know if they're gonna go with it being Jace this time. I feel like it may be some other character, like that we know. Oh. Maybe like your character, or maybe another character. I feel like they may be end up like Clary's brother. Okay. Um. Let's Testing. see. I want to know. Okay. So hey, at hey, it's Alicia wants to know, what was your reaction when you first found out that you had been, um, like, gotten the part? Uh, I, I couldn't believe it, to be honest. I broke all the rules for the audition because I had a call back uh, for Tanny Newton's show, and that seemed like the sure thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I would auditioned with a full beard, like a fuller beard and that sort of thing. Um, and so I tried to split the difference, but they had said, hey, check out the Shadow Universe online, um, be clean shaven, wear certain things, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, but I can't deny my instincts I'm not good at that I don't really believe in it uh -huh. uh, so I followed them and and uh, when I actually got the part and it, I had three auditions that day I had a self tape the callback and that was the first of the day mm -hmm. um, so I, it was a big time crunch the night before um, I knew very little about the world um, about the characters that sort of thing and I just thought okay you strip all of that don't play a firefighter play a person yeah you know um, and, and so we had a very human audition. I think that worked in my favor. Uh, but I felt equal parts overwhelmed uh, and, and blessed and grateful and that sort of thing. There was yeah. a certain level of intimidation that hit at first because it's not my first job, not my last job, but it's a bit of a benchmark. There's a lot of exposure. I mean, there's yeah. a pre-established fan base. Right. It's incredible. Which is amazing. That's like an amazing thing to get into because yeah. you always, like, from there on, you, can, you know you have a fan base. Um, also, at Jace Wayland Fan Three, would like to know: <laughs> Would you enjoy having a bird in the TV show like Hodge did in the I book? I would so enjoy that. What kind, of, oh, bird, yeah, what kind of bird would you want? A raven. Uh, yes. Ooh, uh, yes. I was uh, I was sort of pestering um, production about it. Come on, do I get a cat? Where's Church? Where's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a cat. It's not the right color. But I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. And, um. Okay. Wait. We're on predictions. Okay. <laughs> Or questions. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. Yeah, do a question from there. Yeah, I was, okay. I like this question that I just saw. It's, uh, how long do the tattoos take to put on? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we all get about an hour to two hours, hair, makeup, wardrobe, that sort of thing. Um, probably closer to an hour, hour and a half. I mean, and we're in and out. You know, you get a certain part of you processed. You know, your hair done. Uh, then you go get breakfast, then you come back, and, you know, somebody puts you in a fabulous dress if you're me. <laughs> if you're me. Uh, that would be a nice twist. Yeah. And that, <laughs> question, that question, question was from me. Boo. Boo is really... Boo, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Boo is also... Um, Do you have any other good questions? Uh, um, Hi, Boo. I also like, the, from Scorch and Maze, what makes Hodge different from other characters, which I feel like we've talked about a lot. Yeah, but I think it would be his, uh, his, his inherent dichotomy, the fact that um, he... He's seen enough and experienced enough now that people are multifaceted, uh, and uh, I think he's a shining example of that. Um, you put him in this time and place with these human beings, and he's a bit of a chameleon. He can adapt. Um, and then over here, with I'm a Scorpio, and I identify. I think Hodges too. 
Um, it's, <laughs> it's both the strength Hodges and a weakness. Such a Scorpio. It's both the strength and a weakness. <sighs> it's totally when true. you see, let's say this this is the situation, and somebody will you know, have a POV, strong point of view, and I believe in it and I accept it. But as a Scorpio, that's only one way to see it, you know. And so again, strength or weakness are always seeing so many sides of the same issue or the same human being that it's almost overwhelming. Um, and so I think whereas some of the characters, of course they all have their own um, strengths and weaknesses and, and inner and outer struggles, uh, some of them have a very defined moral compass or mm -hmm. a very defined yeah. goal, you know? Whereas Hodge is a lot more like me. He'll take it as it comes and Day -day. make the best of it, you know? Um, embrace, the, let's be prepared when, whenever possible, but let's embrace like a chance like a like day that. by day and spontaneity. Yeah. spontaneity yeah exactly Which, uh, yeah well, I always want to know I don't I can get a script I'll, and it'll say Hodge I'm like okay what's uh, yeah. what, what's I have happen? no idea what where yeah. we're this you is can't phenomenal guess. yeah I love that it's never okay let's like, see what I'm about happen. to do again you know so predictable and, I love that. and struggle to make it interesting for yeah. myself so that I can be feel challenged and invested in like the unpredictable yeah. work Complexity. I love that you brought up that he's a Scorpio I always want to know <laughs> what sign people think well he may or may not be uh, I think uh, he is I didn't, no. I didn't cross I didn't find love a birthday yeah. and we're about out of time does anyone else have a yeah. really awesome short question <laughs> there is one thing I would like to ask you one more thing sure this is a question for me Oh. <laughs> from, what is um, it like? What is it like going from like some of the horror movies you've done to like trans transitioning over into like Shadowhunters, which is more of like a, like a younger fan base? Well, you know what? When you say that, uh, m my brain immediately goes to Saw 3D, and I remember doing a scene. Uh, well, the the opening scene uh, was opposite Sebastian Piggott, and uh, our director came to us after a take, and he goes, "Guys, way too convincing." And we went, "What? <laughs> Act bad?" <laughs> yeah. I need to no 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 no. But it's it's just so convincing, it's so serious. Remember that horror is a wink at the audience. Have some fun. Okay. That's so so it's not the biggest transition. Yeah. You know what I mean? I often forget that we're playing for a younger demographic. Mm -hmm. Um I was telling you something about yeah. that earlier where I was full of snot and blood and guts and tears yeah. and all kinds <laughs> of fun stuff, which may or may not be allegory, you'll see. Oh. Uh uh and uh, I saw some of the cuts in ADR, and I went, yeah, we had to work around that. I forgot. I was going full gladiator. <laughs> you know? So they just pop in, like, yeah, he's hurt. And they pop out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Question, question, speaking of ADR, since mm -hmm. some people don't know what it is. Can Audio you digital recording. Uh, say a plane flies overhead. Um, <laughs> the studio will call you in. Uh, you'll get in the booth, and you'll match your performance. Um, awesome. I love it. Awesome. Which is, man. It's, you know, you get easy at it. It's, uh, easy at it. <laughs> yeah. it's an acquired skill that Very becomes easy. easy. Yeah. Uh, but it's still, I hate having a mass performance, man. It's oh. so unnatural. Mm -hmm. you know? well, yeah. I like to smell the person I'm talking to. Yes. <laughs> smell smell their breath. breath. Yeah. Take in their essence. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a and whole other sometimes just thing. collect a lock of their hair. Oh, perfect. No I would love that. We should do that. <laughs> I'll um, get the scissors we'll do, we'll Yeah, I, I have my box in the car. Absolutely. This is what we're doing for every guest. We're having them sign the Love Octagon, and we're also collecting a lock of their yeah. hair. Yes. Sometimes we'll they don't know it. Home cloning's around the corner, babe. Yeah. We'll have one of everyone. Limited time only. Get your own shadow Yeah. Squad. That's, that would be right. so fun. So this, on eBay. Yeah, this was so much fun. I'm so Thank glad you. we I, had I you in, and yes. I'm thrilled to see what happens with your character. And I guys, can't wait. continue to Thank tweet you. at him, ask him questions. One more time, where can everybody find you when all this crap starts going down? Uh, my bedroom. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't tell them. They'll come. 101 Happy Street. No. Uh, uh, at John Core. Okay. J O N underscore C O R. Awesome uh, guys. That's both Insta and Twitter. Perfect. All right. And everyone else, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Mr. Dakota T. Jones. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Becca B. Talks TV. You can find me on my blog at alwayseatyourcake.com, on Instagram at alwayseatyourcake, and Snapchat and Twitter at Love Aaron Lane. And you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at SamD43, online at SamDavidsonEntertainment.com, and on Snapchat at SamDavidson25. We will see you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. 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 From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. 
I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of After Buzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of After Buzz TV or its owners or principals.